So FedEx just dropped off this very large box from ACS Composite. Let's see what's inside. All right, so as usual with ACS, we get a couple pieces of literature and a very well packaged accessory. So let's tear all this stuff out and see what we got. Whatever it is, it's going into the ZR1. So Let's get to it. All right, can you guys tell what it is yet? Well, let's get it a little bit more unwrapped so we can really see it. All right, so there it is, boys. What do you think? It's perfectly painted red to match my red accents on the ZR1. If you don't know what that is just yet, stay tuned. You're gonna find out in a second once we install it in the ZR1. Now, in order to install it, what we're gonna have to do is actually take the target top off and go in through the roof and then slide it back over the hump that's right here in the C7. I'm gonna film it, I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's definitely not difficult, but there's no instructions on how to actually do it, so I'm gonna show you now. To get this thing installed, it actually comes with a bag of hardware here to attach to the waterfall to tether it down to the inside of the car so it doesn't become a flying projectile in the event of a crash. What we're gonna do is go ahead and set this up on the waterfall first, and then we're gonna go in through the top and place it inside and bolt it down to the cargo straps that are in the back hatch area of the C7. If you have the cargo area shade attached in here, you're gonna to wanna to take it out, which is kind of funny because here in a second, we're we're going to talk a little bit more about some of these areas where you anchor down the cargo shade so stay tuned for that but for this installation this has to come out because that box is actually going to get secured to this cargo hook and this cargo hook in order to do that we have to pop the little plastic tabs off and this is what it looks like once we remove the plastic covering it reveals a t40 Torx head bolt. And then we're gonna pop the box in there and screw down through the box into these locations. We already have the target top off. What we're gonna do next is go ahead and open up the car and we're gonna move these seats as far forward as we possibly can. And just like that, through the power of internet magic, the seats are up, everything is ready. Let's get this thing in. But before we get started, guys, look who came down to help. This is Onyx. I've posted a couple pictures of him on the community tab when he was a puppy. He's still a puppy, but he has grown quite a bit. His colors are black with a red collar, just like the color combination on the ZR1, right? So here he is, he's here to help. Say hi, Onyx. Good boy, good boy. Before we throw this in the car, I wanted to show you guys these plates. We'll go underneath the waterfall right here in the corners to basically give this fiberglass box a little bit more security. So there is a hole inside here, which you're not gonna be able to see just yet, That the longer Allen screw that they give you goes down through to bolt into the car. So these are really just there to make sure you don't crack the fiberglass when tightening it down. Now to attach these, these three little holes here kind of make it seem like you would put it up under here and then screw it in, but that doesn't make any sense and there's no additional screws included. If you were to screw this in, it's gonna put sharp screw heads right through the cargo area of this thing where you can actually store stuff. So that doesn't make sense. What I'm gonna do, is just put this plate under here where the hole lines up and tape it on because there's no real reason that this has to be screwed into this or attached any stiffer than just a piece of tape. This is really just there to make sure that the holes that are left from the cargo hooks, as you can see there, it's dimpled down in and that plate will basically cover that over so it's nice and flat. So again, tightening down that bolt doesn't crack any fiberglass. Just like this, we got them duct taped on the bottom. Like I said, this doesn't really matter. There's no security to this. This is just to make sure this doesn't crack when you put the bolt head down through here. As you saw there, you kind of have to angle it in. So I angled in the driver's side first and then slid back the passenger side, but that is it. What do you think? I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolts in now and we're gonna take the car for a ride and see how it looks. In order to make sure this is bolted down, you'll actually wanna come in here. And as you can see right there, I already have one bolted down on the driver's side. I'm gonna show you over on the passenger side, you can lift up on the box a little bit so you can see the screw coming down through to direct it into the cargo hook 
hole. That way it's a little easier to get this thing bolted in. But overall, the installation is not too difficult. Doesn't really require a whole bunch of tools, but this thing is kind of large, so it's not heavy. It's a little difficult to get it angled in there quite right. Like I said, we came in like this. I put the driver's side in first and then we slid the passenger side back. So we'll come in here with the screw, drop it straight down like that. And then you can kind of angle the box around, move it around a little bit. And if I take you around the back here, you can see that area right there where you see the cutout around the carpet is gonna be where the bolt will come down through, but the hole is down in there really small. So you'll have to move the box back and forth and around a little bit to get that screw to drop down through and then just tighten it up and you're good. And the final product. So yeah, it looks really good in there, guys. It's gonna match the rev match paddles, the red seat belts, my red channel logo, the red calipers, and eventually my red ZR1 badges once I get those all ready to go. Now, if we look at it from the front, it definitely lets you know right off the bat there's some red in there. Like I said before, ACS Composite has some high quality stuff. This is of course no exception. The box is painted torch red, so if you have a torch red Corvette, it will perfectly match. And of course we get the carbon flash painted Corvette emblem as well, which is all OEM GM stuff. So it looks great in there. It looks like it's supposed to be there. But anyway guys, if you're interested in something like that, I'll leave all the information down in the description below. And of course, if you wanna hit up ACS, just tell them horsepower obsessed sent you maybe they'll give you an extra little discount or something all right guys the maiden voyage with the new acs waterfall installed what do you think i think it looks pretty good like i said it was pretty easy to install definitely uh an interesting piece definitely gonna be something that's gonna be the talk of the town for the car shows so it's it's neat i mean it adds a little bit of a corvette feel and it definitely gives the interior some extra color, a little bit more pop, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna give it a big thumbs up, like I always do with ACS stuff. I just wanna give a huge shout out to Jonathan and all the guys over at ACS Composite for hooking me up with stuff like this. The, the car, somehow it takes the car that's already basically perfect and makes it even better. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked the install, if you liked the ACS products. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about anything we did today. I'm always open to hearing from you guys, so if you want to send me an email and start up any kind of conversation about the Corvette or anything we did in any of my videos, my email is horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com. Like I said, I'm happy to hear from you guys. So while removing the cargo net area here to install the ACS waterfall, I noticed that this little holder piece was broken. Normally there is a little tab that sticks out right here so the cargo net can fit down over it and this holds it tight. If we come over to the driver's side, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This tiny little tab right here is broken off. Now I actually didn't do it. It was already broken before I even got into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to replace that. Now it's actually a lot easier than you'd think. Because of where it's located, I would have thought this entire plastic piece had to come out, which would have been a real pain with the waterfall and all that stuff already in place. But surprisingly enough, this actually comes out by itself. So since this is already broken, it doesn't really matter what we do to get this thing out because it's broken. For me, I would just take a pair of pliers and you can actually open them up inside instead of squeezing them and you just turn just like that and then it will come out so this is all the piece is now i have the new one all ready to go on here it was literally eight dollars and some change i'll link it down in the description below if you guys are interested in these it's right from amazon so you'll get it in two days as well and if you use this cargo net area it's kind of imperative that you have this plus i just hate the idea of having anything busted or broken in my corvette and here's the new one, guys. That's the part number for the piece right there. I will also link that in the description down below in case any of you guys are interested in getting one of these for yourself. As you can see, it's the exact same piece, only it's less broken than the stock one we just took out. To put the new one on, we're just gonna snap it right down into place here, and then we need to quarter turn it. And to do that, since this is the new one, we don't wanna mark anything up, I'm gonna put my pair of pliers through a microfiber towel, squeeze around that piece that broke off the other one, and turn it till you hear it pop into place. Now it's good to go. I'm glad GM made them easy to replace because they probably knew they were gonna break a lot. But if you guys are interested, like I said, down in the description below, and now you know how to change them. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. So like I said, we got the ACS waterfall installed. We got the new piece back here for the cargo net area installed. 
Two kind of important pieces, in my opinion, I think the ACS waterfall looks fantastic. ACS composite really makes some fantastic quality stuff like we talked about before on the channel. I have all kinds of ACS pieces on the car, so I'm no stranger to the quality of the products that they create. Now, as far as replacing this little hook here for the cargo net, that's something a little different. I mean, that's GM quality stuff, which is usually pretty good. But in this case, that thing is such thin plastic, it's bound to happen sooner or later, especially if you leave that cargo area on when you put your targa top in, because it kind of puts pressure against it. Anyway, thankfully it's not horribly expensive and it's pretty easy to change. Like I said, you don't have to go popping a bunch of interior pieces out to get to that part. So I appreciate the design as far as that's concerned. All right, say bye Onyx. Say bye buddy, we're all done. Oh, he's saying bye, guys. Click like. Give me a thumbs up if you want to say bye to Onyx.